Hi guys, we're here at CES 2023 in Las Vegas and we're actually here with Mr. Stefan Durak, uh, Senior Vice President at BMW Group for Connected Company Development. Hi Stefan. So, tell us more about the new updates to the UX UI experience. So in 2023, in the middle of the year, we're going to change a couple of things on our user interface. So we're moving away you know, from a column-based, horizontal-oriented main menu to a map-based main menu, because I think the map is a really important part of your interaction. So it will be map as a browser, as a synonym, I would say. And we will put all the important information on top of that. So this will be the entry point in your new user experience, so to speak. So what are future improvements that we can expect to see in this area? And, you know, with AI being a very big part of how technology is advancing, would we see AI possibly pay playing a role in this area as well? Or? You know, at one point in time, you have a system you want to interact with, you know, and one thing of interaction would be the system getting more proactive, you know, making proposals which are, make sense in a certain circumstances. And thirdly, AI will play a role there as well. We get a better understanding of what you're doing, what is your daily behavior, and based on that, we can make meaningful proposals to you, which, is, which are not annoying for sure, you know, if you're making a proposal which makes no sense at all. But uh, based on this, we can see a lot of potential of doing so. Some other car manufacturers have brought in some interesting um, features into their cars, like Tesla being mm -hmm. able to play you know, your PlayStation mm -hmm. 5 in the car when your car is on autopilot and mm -hmm. stuff like that. What, what do you think about you know, that sort of entertainment in, in a car? You know, I think entertainment is really, really important and uh, gaming, I think especially casual gaming in a car makes absolutely sense. So in the middle of the year, uh, we have a partnership with Air Console. They do a lot of casual gaming and you can actually use your phone as a controller. Uh, and you can play with up to five or six people at the same time on the screen. And so we'll ship features, this feature in the middle of the year as well. So gaming, for example, special casual gaming, I think it's really important part in the car. Video content is another thing. You, know, you can watch YouTube videos, for example, in our cars right now. You know, the, the most important thing when you're driving is always your, your safety and your security. So driver distraction we're taking very serious. So certain things we would not allow while you're driving, for sure not. So it's really about uh, making the right prioritization, what kind of feature you want to use, at what point in time, in what situation. So watching a movie while you're driving, I don't think it's a good idea. You should not do that. Playing a game, for sure not as well. But there's different situations in standstill where you can do things like this. And like I said, distraction and perfect car UI is actually if you're capable to pick the right amount of information at the right point of time at the right location. And this is really what we are focusing on. Where do we display the information at what point in time? In our head-up display, in our instrument cluster, in our CID, in different place, ways to do that. And this is really important for us not to to distract our customer at any point of time. Awesome, right. thank you. We'll be trying out the newly announced Vision D shortly, so stay tuned for our video on that.